Right now, an explosive end to the drama that's caused a diplomatic crisis between the world's two great powers. Today, the United States downed a suspected Chinese spy balloon that's been floating across the country for days. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is live in the control room, breaking down what happened. Marissa. Well, good evening, Dana. That surveillance device shot down off the coast of the Carolinas, but tonight, the Chinese Foreign Ministry is expressing it's strong discontent with what happened and saying this is a surveillance, a civilian rather aircraft that somehow made its way into U.S. airspace. And just like that. They just shot it. See the smoke coming from it? The Pentagon says an American fighter jet shot down the Chinese spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina on Saturday with just one air to air missile. It's a really remarkable phenomenon here that people could see this Chinese uh, floating ship. Uh, from their backyards. Dr. Joe Schwederman of DePaul University has been studying airspace and aviation for years and seeing a floating surveillance balloon for him. Well, that's a first. We just don't know what this was used for. And I think we have to kind of assume the worst. The balloon was first spotted over Montana near military sites and for nearly seven days made its way towards Myrtle Beach. President Biden said he ordered it to be shot down as it was making its day long cross country journey, widening a growing rift between the U.S. and China. It successfully took it down and I want to compliment our aviators who did it. I told them to shoot it down. On oh, Wednesday. On Wednesday. But the recommendation They from said it. to me, let's wait till the safest place to do it. China's going to view this as an act of aggression. China expressed its strong dissatisfaction over the shoot down, calling it a serious violation of international practice and is now threatening repercussions. Leaders claim the balloon was for civilian use and entered U.S. airspace accidentally, something Schwederman calls an interesting play. I've never seen anything like this, even a sense that we're having technology develop that could be these spherical uh, uh, floating uh, uh, ships that might have advanced camera capabilities. So with the surveillance balloon now down, recovery operations are now underway. And this just in from the Department of Defense. They say Chinese balloons actually brief, briefly moved into the U.S. at least three times during the prior administration. Something we'll be following. Live in the control room tonight, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. All right, Marissa, thank you.